I would now like to turn it over to Superintendent Nyland for tonight's recognition. All right, uh, two uh, recognitions. Uh, first, it's uh, Black History Month uh, in February, and uh, it's incredible uh, the a number of celebrations that we have had uh, already, uh, I think, mentioned in earlier board meetings, uh, another uh, few to mention tonight, and many, many more that are listed on our uh, website. Uh, I was going to bring my new favorite book down, uh, 28 Days, uh, one for each day of the month in February, uh, written by an African-American author who wanted uh, to do far more than uh, in addition to recognizing Martin Luther King, Jr. Um, and in fact, uh, our schools are, are doing that, and our goal is that that would happen uh, regularly for all of our students throughout the entire uh, school year. Uh, Monday was National African American Parent Involvement Day, and uh, we presented uh, a uh, proclamation at the last board meeting, and I had the opportunity to give that to uh, the principal and the organizers for the event at uh, South Shore on Monday. Uh, they were bigger and better than ever. Uh, I want to, I think their goal last year was about 100 uh, men. Uh, their goal this year was 100 men and 100 women, and I think they far outdid that. Uh, Mayor Ed Murray was there, Director Patu was there, Director Blanford was there. Uh, an incredible uh, day. The Breakfast Group Gala uh, was uh, held their 40th anniversary at the Fairmont Olympic Hotel uh, last Thursday, and again, uh, the ballroom was packed with uh, community leaders. There was probably a dozen of the Breakfast Group uh, founders uh, who were there and were recognized, so wow, uh, what a tribute to 40 years of commitment to our youth. They provide mentoring for uh, students in five of our high schools, and they provide scholarships and do so many other things that are so supportive of our students. And uh, just a few moments ago, uh, we had an opportunity to be at Franklin High School where they're hosting their ninth annual summit, Power, Justice, Freedom Through Education Diversity. And wow, what a celebration of diversity. This was not just to check the box and say, oh yeah, we did a Martin Luther King Day celebration. Uh, they recognized, among others, uh, Director Betty Patu uh, and Dr. Brent Jones uh, for their work and gave them a Martin Luther King uh, Recognition Award. And uh, then uh, Noah Purcell, our state's Solicitor General and a Franklin grad, uh, was there and uh, recognized as well, and I could go on and on and on, and it goes on through the this evening, uh, but again, a wonderful celebration of uh, diversity. So our goal uh, is for all of our students to feel uh, a sense of welcome and belonging every day of the year, and we do that in uh, so many ways, and we're pleased to see the work that schools continue to do in that regard. Now, um, I'd like to uh, do as we have been doing and recognize uh, one of our premier partners, we're calling them. We've got about a dozen that uh, just do absolutely incredible things uh, for the district, uh, for our schools, for our kids. Uh, they're joined uh, at the hip uh, with us in uh, doing such important work. Um, and uh, the Seattle Council uh, PTSA is one of those organizations. Uh, they are represented in 80 of our schools. Uh, they raise uh, about $2 million uh, a year uh, in funding. More important, they contribute thousands of hours of volunteer time. Uh, President Sabrina Burr has been uh, instrumental in uh, urging our schools to join the National Council of PTSA effort uh, for excellence in schools, and I believe that she's been successful in getting uh, more schools in uh, Seattle and a greater percentage in Seattle than uh, anywhere else uh, statewide. So I'd like to invite uh, James Bush, our Director of School and Community Partnerships, a few thoughts and then we'll, uh, ha we have a, 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 a s more than a certificate, a plaque uh, for Sabrina and uh, I would imagine that Sabrina might want to say a few things uh, and then we'll invite the board down to um, uh, recognize and celebrate with uh, Sabrina. 
Thank you, Dr. Nylon and board members for the opportunity to recognize another one of our premier partners. And I was reminded back there, or told by uh, Vice President Mack that it's actually $4 million they bring in the schools. So thank you. Uh, so since 1972, the Seattle Council PTA has supported, empowered, engaged Seattle school families and communities to advocate for our children. The Seattle Council offers trainings to parents, after school enrichment programs for youth, and numerous other programs. One example of these supports is the Urban Family Engagement Network that is uh, currently located at six different schools. The network brings together parents, caregivers, administrators, and other providers together to ensure students reach their full potential. At this point, I've been asked to be brief, and I'll be brief, but I want to bring, invite Sabrina Bo to join us, the Seattle Council President PTA, Eden Mack, and, and the other person is st stuck in traffic, but please give them the time and attention, and please thank them for all of the support to our schools and our students. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, thank you, Superintendent Nyland and school board directors. Um, with me is our powerful and mighty legislative chair, Eden Mack, um, a well-tuned engine in Seattle Council PTA. And I want to take a, a moment to honor our founders. Um, February 17th is our founder day, so this award is uh, very befitting. Um, Alice McCain Burney, and Phoebe Apperhurst um, and Selena Sloan Butler um, back in 1897 wanted to better the lives of children in education, health, and safety. Our national platform from 1897 is very befitting for today. The National Congress of Mothers, irregardless of creed, color, or condition, stands for all parenthood all childhood and homeland. Its platform is the universe and its organization is the human race. And that is what we stand on as Seattle Council PTA, who has been a partner with Seattle Public Schools since 1973 when we used to run the Seattle Public Schools Ski School. So there is a, a bit of history there. The work that goes on, um, goes on in our buildings. In Seattle Council PTA, we support the amazing work that goes on in PTAs, like Rainier Beach PTA, who was a champion of change for the White House for their incredible work that they've done. Ballard High School PTA, who has just put on um, an incredible event talking about education funding and has gotten a platform on Washington State PTA for higher ed that looks further beyond what we do and brought CTEs to Washington State PTA as well. Powerful PTAs like Lowell Elementary School, who used to be a school of highly capable kids, now they're serving homeless kids. Um, as I walked outside of that building the other day, one of my old neighbors was dropping off the great-grandchild of a Washington, uh, Seattle, Tuskegee Airmen, um, Clarence Oliphant. And it just showed me the power that goes on in those buildings and the legacy of what we stand on. Um, and that's what happens in Seattle Council PTA through the many schools that we work with and touch. We have been a bridge and a connector um, for Seattle Public Schools um, and the powerful work that we have been doing um, with the $74 million budget deficit, and we want to say that we stand in the gap, that the families and the parents are here to tell our legislature not on our watch and that our kids are worth it, and you need to do what you need to do. So we are your partners. We've been your partners for a long time, and we look forward to continuing to partner with you to make every single child's potential a reality and to eliminate opportunity gaps and to have ex excellence for each and every student. We are honored to stand here today um, and to work with you and to support you um, in this critical work of educating Seattle children so that they can be, as Brent Jones says, Seattle strong, being able to buy homes in the neighborhoods that they grow up in. All right, thank you again. Uh,
We'll invite the board down to do a picture, and then maybe we'll, after the picture, the uh, board can join the audience and we'll have our student performance. And I just want to announce that our student performers tonight will be High Wire No Net, a student jazz ensemble from Washington Middle School. Hey everyone, um, my name is Sean and this is group, it's a jazz combo from Washington Middle School and we're going to be playing a, bun uh, a couple of jazz tunes, I arranged them all. The first one is called All of Me and on it we're going to be featuring Jory Dahl on the trombone and so yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the next song is called, it's 
very popular. It's called Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and we are going to be featuring Tate Linden on vocals. And yeah, so thank you, everyone. Do you want to go up or what? Troubles met like lemon drops away Up of the chimney tops That's where you'll find me Somewhere over the rainbow Bluebirds fly Birds fly over the rainbow why, oh, why can't I? Thank you. <laughs> so for our last tune today, thank you all very much again. For our last tune today, we're going to do a song called Bag's Groove, and it's a very fun, up-tempo song. And it's going to also feature Colin Heath, who also sold in the last song, and also myself, Sh Sean Piano. So thank you all very much for all this. Thank you.
Let's hear it for High Wire, no net. Well done. <laughs> so thank you all for coming. I have one question for you, and then I'm going to pass the mic around and ask each of you to tell us your, just your first name and what grade you're in. My first question is, um, how often do you practice? Once? OK. Great, it shows. My name is Jack Rasmussen, and I'm from Washington Middle School, eighth grade. My name is Alec, and I'm in eighth grade. Uh, my name is Jory Dahl, and I'm in eighth grade. My name is Colin Heath, and I'm in eighth grade. My name is Tate Linden, and I'm in eighth grade. My name is Karen Jamison, and I'm in eighth grade. My name is Sean McCarthy Grant, and I'm in 49th grade, eighth grade. <laughs> my name is Sebastian Dingler, and I'm in eighth grade. Thank you all very much.